Say something to the Lord. What do you desire today? What do you want God to answer today? What made you come to the house of God today? What is in your heart? Speak it out to God. Speak it out to God in prayer. Mwami mana yacu mu izina rya Yesu Kristo zugwa icyubahiro tugushimiye umunsi mwiza uduhaye Mwami mana uri mwiza ugira neza uvuga neza ukora byiza uri imana uri imana wo uri imana duciye bugufi imbere yawe tugusaba ngo umwanya nkuyu nguyu tubone umugisha imbere yawe utugirire neza nanone utugirire neza mu ijambo duhure nawe mu ijambo mana imiti miri hano iratandukanye inaniwe ibabaye iyishimye igutabaza irira irushye iyo yose iri imbere yawe mana bigisubizo ndakwinginga mana ni wowe bategereje bigisubizo tugutegereje nk'Imana itanga ibisubizo tugirire neza turabigusaba mwami mana ijambo rya uri gira ububasha burenga amagambo rigakora umurimo ugira ukiza ugira uwo guhagira ugira ububabarira ugira ukomeza ugira uhishurira ugira uha ibisubizo bihame turakwereka amaturo mwami ngo akore umurimo wayageneye mu izina rya Yesu turakwereka abana bacu ubahe kwiga no gusobanukirwa mwami wimbika ijambo mu buzima bwabo turabyizera ijambo ry'Imana n'imbuti itabora uryimbike nibakura bazasangira iririzima kandi rikora natwe duciye bugufi tugusaba ngo bibe biricyo mu izina rya Yesu Kristo uvuga ngo amen say amen imana ibaho mugisha may god bless you luka 16 we are going to read in Luke chapter 16. Kuva ku murongo wa mbere kugera kuri 13. Starting from verse 1 to 16. Turacyari muri parabole za Yesu. We are still talking about the parables of Jesus. Uko kwezi kose turavuga imigani ya Yesu. Throughout this month we'll be talking about the parables of Jesus. Abaririmbyi bakoze mu bambere amashyi. Thank you the worship team so please give them a hand clap. Baradufashije. They helped us. Turi kuri parabole cyangwa imigani ya Yesu. Still focusing on the parables of Jesus. Mwibuka ubushize uko twavuze. Remember what we said last time? Twasanze ko Yesu yavugiye mu migani. So we realize that Jesus spoke through parables. Kugira ngo azane ingero z'ubu buzima. So that he can give us examples of this life. Ariko muri izo ngero yigisha. And teach us through the same uh, examples. Akigisha. He would teach akoresheje ingero zo mu buzima using examples of daily life bikitwa imigani it would be called parables ariko nyuma y'umugani but beyond the parable harimo inyigisho there is a teaching tugenda no rugendo rwo kumva ibyo Yesu yabagavuga so let's walk together as we understand what Jesus was saying ndagutumiye ngo tugenda no rugendo rwo kumva ibyo Yesu yabagavuga so i invite you to walk together in this journey to understand what Jesus was talking about ruka 13 so we're going to read in luke so we we'll read first in Kinyarwanda then in English. Kandi abwira abigishwa bati hari ho mutunzi wari ufite igisonga ki bakimuregaho ko cyaya ibintu byose. Aragihamagara rakibwira ati ibyo nkumva ho nibiki. Muri kiri ibyo nakubikije kuko utagikwiriye kuba igisonga cyanjye. Icyo gisonga kiribwira kiti ko data buje ari bunyage ubutware bwanje nkaba ntashobora guhinga nkagira isoni zo gusabiriza ndagirane have nzi cyo nzakora kugira ngo nimara kunyagwa bazandaze mu mazu yabo ahamagara ufite umwenda wa shebuja wese abaza uwa mbere ati harya data buja akwishyuza iki aramusubiza ati inshuri ijana za mavuta ya irayo na wati enda urwandiko rwawe wicare vuba wandike mirongo itanu maze abazundi ati harya wishyuzwe iki aramusubiza ati inshuri jana za masaka aramubwira ati nawe nda urwandiko rwawe wandike mirongo inane 
nuko shebuja ashima icyo gisonga kibi kuko cyakoze ibyubwenge kuko abana bisi arabanyabwenge mu byo ku ngoma yabo kuruta abana bumucyo kandi ndababwira nti ubutunzi bubi mu bushakisha inshuti kugira ngo nibushira bazabakire mu buturo bwiteka ukiranuka kucyoroheje cyane abakiranutse no kugikomeye kandi ukiranirwa kucyoroheje cyane abakiraniwe no kugikomeye niba mutarakiranutse mu bikijwe ubutunzi bubi ninde uzababitsa ubutunzi bwo kuri kandi niba mutakiranutse kubya abandi mu bikijwe ninde uzabaha ibyo mwitegekaho nta mugara gukeza abami babiri kuko abashaka kwanga umwe agakunda undi cyangwa yaguma kuri umwe agasuzugurundi nti mubasha gukeza imana nubutunzi imana idufashe cyane so let's read in Luke chapter 16 from verse 1 to 13 he also said to his disciples there was a certain rich man who had a steward and an accusation was brought to him that this man was wasting his goods so he called him and said to him what is this i hear about you give an account of your stewardship for you can no longer be a steward then the steward said within himself what shall i do for my master is taking the stewardship away from me i cannot dig i am ashamed to beg i have resolved what to do that when i am put out of stewardship they may receive me into their house so he called every one of his master's debtors to him and said to the first how much do you owe my masters and he said a hundred measures of oil so he said to him take your bill and sit down quickly and write 50. then he said to another how much do you owe so he said a hundred measures of wheat and he said to him take your bill and write 80. so the master commanded commanded the unjust steward because he had dealt shrewdly for the sons of this world are more shrewd in their generation than the sons of light and I say to you, make friends for yourself by unrighteous mammon, that when you fail, they may receive you into an everlasting home. For he who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much, and he who is unjust in what is least is unjust also in much. Therefore, if you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit you to, tr to trust to the true riches? And if you have not been faithful in what is another's man, who will give you what is your own? No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. So let's walk together the journey of understanding what is behind this parable. The lesson that Jesus wants you to take today through this teaching if you followed attentively this is the fourth teaching about possessions. Uh, previously we saw a wise steward and we realize that a faithful steward is the one who knows that he'll be held accountable and he lives expecting that accountability and we realize that we will be held accountable because after this life we will go somewhere else and we learn that we are responsible for our own lives uh, life is personal so use it for whatever you want uh, you, you take it where you want but you should keep in mind that you'll be held accountable how you live your life we also learned that we are responsible for the opportunities that we get. 
capacité cyangwa ubushobozi dufite we also learned that we are responsible for the ability that we have twize ko turi na responsable yibigwa mu matwi yacu turiho twiga we are also responsible for what we hear with our ears as you will learn uyu munsi tubonye ikindi gisonga so today we are looking at another type of steward bigaragara ngo turakiga ku busonga which shows that we are still learning about stewardship kandi yesu ntabwo ari wabwira biriya bisonga byo muri bibiliya byakera arabwira wowe nange and jesus is not speaking to these stewards of old but today he's speaking to you and now because you also have responsibilities you have things that you manage you have what you do so in particular today we are going to talk about money so jesus dares a lot i want to tell you that possessions is a way out there they talk about it but jesus here he's showing his attitude towards possessions it is important to know what the bible says about possessions instead of people's own understanding and that, this is even my intention that we understand what god says about our possessions Does, is god aware of your job is he aware of your possessions is god interested about your possessions is, is, is God concerned about this? But I want to tell you that God is concerned. God is concerned. Yes, so Jesus therefore. So he had three years and a half from the time he parted from uh, his father in heaven now try to imagine that in three years and a half Jesus was supposed to teach all the teachings that uh, his father was expecting and also leave behind people who will continue the same so three years and a half is a short period that is why Jesus did not miss any opportunity without saying the truth so together with Jesus there is no joke uh, in season and out of season he would speak in particular speaking to his disciples because in three years and a half he was supposed to hand over the ministry and they were supposed to know what to do so my desire for you is also to have a target in life. this is having a target this is having a vision and knowing where you are heading to is knowing where you're heading to. and so that it enables you to work because you know where you're heading to amen so now this steward uh, Jesus is teaching us so many things through this passage. so first of all he's showing us that Christianity is not about prayer only uh, Christianity is not about praising God only so we spend days seeing how God is teaching us to work so the possession he's showing us it also includes working working He's requesting you to work. And then possession comes after we have worked. I don't I, uh, ignore that as we speak about this, maybe there's somebody who's hungry, or there's someone who didn't eat last night, or a person who is jobless, or there's someone who is inspired. But it does not prevent you from receiving the word of God so that it can give you hope. Amen. Yes, we are to give this song. So Jesus is telling us about a steward. And he's bringing it closer. And he's teaching us what is behind. So the word of God says. Blessed is the steward. Whose master when he comes back. He'll find him doing what he has been entrusted to do. Praise Jesus indeed. So he's bringing closer. And he's appreciating. Um, an unfaithful steward. He's also appreciating an Is he really appreciating him oh, yeah. indeed? No. 
hari principle akururamo but there is a principle actually he's drawing hari hame ari wakurura there is a principle that he's drawing niba mwakurikiye so if you follow the attentive chiri agisonga this steward cyakoresheje nabi ibintu byashebuje he did not manage the possess well the possessions of his master ntabwo ari umwizerwa mu kazi he was unfaithful igihe yabonye rero ko agiye kwirukanwa now when he realized that that he was going to be chased niko yibajije aho azaje now he started wondering where he will be going igihe cyose ari ku kazi so whenever he was doing his job he never thought that he'd come to an end so i played with you in the name of jesus whenever you have a job be careful. so appreciate that you have a job and do it well do it well because it is that that job that opens the door to another one and this steward didn't know that the job will come to an end and actually he had also conducted him his the wrong way so now Jesus says now the master called the steward now please see what the steward thought about I don't know if that steward is you but he said now I'm about to be chased and I don't know how to dig and the way I boss I cannot Big, what am I going to do? Now he started looking for a way out. So his unrighteous life that he was using in his master's house. So it gave him a trick. Now he said, instead, now in, in order to have those who are going to receive me, let's say the one who had a debt of a hundred million, I request him to write down. 50 million so the one who had a debt of 80 million uh, 100 brother I request him to write down 80 million so I'm just using today's measure so if you try to compare today it is equal to nine and a half uh, salary month and another one is about three and a half month salary so now he wrote the wrong figures so he went into the books and he changed the figures now try to imagine if there is someone who knows planning and economy Jesus, and this is what he's going to teach us so now he started with this man so now he changed the figures in the books but in the heart the intention was to have a house that is going to receive him so brethren uh, this teaching is not far from the one we learned previously so here Jesus is appreciating this steward so what should be praised here if you are honest is there something to be praised here because this is not, doesn't look like Jesus the son of God this doesn't look like Jesus the son of God Yes, uh, Jesus, a, a person who is faithful and just, he's not the one to say such things. But now try to see what he's appreciating. So he appreciated the tricks of this person. He's drawing closer the strategy of this person. And he's appreciating the, 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 his way of working. Are you something? And he's appreciating the fact this person is able to prepare for his future. So Jesus is teaching you to prepare for your future. You see how unjust people know how to plan for their future. Uh, working knowing where they're heading to. And if necessary, they can even steal, but so that they can prepare their future. So let's take a pause. So what I want to tell you, we are going back to the previous teaching. 
Live as you think about the future. No go fit akazi tekereza ejo. So even though you have a, a job today but think Echo about the future. Ejo kore yo ejo. What you do today think about the future. Yes arabishimye. Jesus is appreciating this. Atuzi ko bazu bwenge. And he say these people are. Ati muraba no kuno cyapanze. And can you see how he, he planned all these things? Yes ashimwe cyane. Praise Jesus indeed. Icyo ashatse kutubwira ro ngo tekereza no gukora uburyo ukoresha amafaranga yawe. So Jesus is requesting us to think about the way we manage our money. Bene data dushobora kuvuga kubindi bintu burya kugira ngo wigishe uvuga amafaranga Yesu numugabo uh, Jesus is a man indeed to, to teach about money Burya uzi ko dashobora kubwira umuntu ngo mbese uhembwa ngahe You can not you cannot ask a person what is your salary Ni kinya bupfura giki Ah so you'll be impolite Umuntu yanakubwira ati winjiye mu byanjye ute A person may ask how comes you are interfering Ha ushobora kubaza undi ngo no one can ask another person how much are you paid. Yes, ari hora twigisha ariko ngo menye uko ukoresha amafaranga yawe. But Jesus here is teaching us you should know how you manage your. Ibyo ufite ubikoresha ute? How do you use the possessions that you have? Ukiri ku kazi ubikoresha ute? When you are still at your job, how do you manage? Ugiye ufite uburyo bwo kwinjiza umushahara ukoresha ute? When you still have means to earn a salary, how do you use it? Yes, ashimwe cyane. Praise Jesus indeed. Ngo amafaranga so money ntakadushuke. I should not deceive us. There is a principle that you should not be deceived. So whenever you receive a salary, whenever you have a job, whenever you have something that makes you earn income, think about the future. I'm not good at teaching this. Uh, maybe businessmen would be the ones who have the best Those who have who gain, who income. But Jesus was speaking to all of us. Yes, Jesus is speaking to all of us. Whenever you're earning something, whenever you earn something, maybe you may consider it as this. But according to Jesus, it is not an issue of the size. But it is an issue of how you manage. Hallelujah. It is an issue of how we work. It is an issue of how we conduct ourselves in our work. And it is an issue of how we take money and use it. And it is important to know that. In addition to this, what Jesus wants to teach us, uh, let money, money should not take our hearts. We should not leave when money is on top when money has taken away our heart I read somewhere that there is a type of rice there is a type of rice that comes from China that they make out of plastic uh, I'm not very sure I did not verify that story I'm not sure I wasn't there. And actually, I didn't see <inaudible> that. But uh, it, 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 it was shared. On <inaudible> but I thought. Benedat. Uh, brethren, it will be a big issue to reach to a point where you make people eat plastic just because you're looking for money. Yes, So Jesus is wants to speak to those who earn money. Amafranga. Those who earn money. Uh, through business. Uh, whichever way you may earn that money. Itonde. Be careful. We falsifia. And do not counterfeit. You may say even Jesus can speak about yes. this. Yes. Yes. So accept the few things that you have that you have received in a different way that you have received in a different way. But it should not take you to a place where you want plenty and in a wrong way. Yes, Ashimwe. This is the word of God. Itonde. So be careful. Brethren, you may be deceived that this concerns business. But all of us, in one way or the other, we, we encounter with money. All of us, in one way or the other, we have, whether we have a lot or we don't have a lot. But you should not be under control of money. We should not be under control of money. Hallelujah. 
kuko tudashobora gukunda imana ngo dukundira amafaranga because we cannot love god at the same time and love yes as iko amafaranga ari umuzi usharira and jesus knows that money is a bit little root urukundo rwa amafaranga je veux dire ah here i mean the love of money gukunda amafaranga bibirira tubwira ngo ni umuzi w'ibindi bibazo byose the bible says that the love of money is the root of all kuyakorera ni byiza it is good to work for money kuyatunga ni byiza it is good to have money kuyagira ni byiza it is good to have money imana ya gukinguriye umuryango ugakora ugahaha ni byiza and if god has opened a door and then you work and able to have money it is good ariko itonde nk'umwana w'imana amafaranga ye gutege ku buzima bwawe but be careful as a child of god money should not control your life isha bari imana aba ngo byose urabyemerewe and the bible says that everything is lawful for you ariko siko byose bikugirira umumara but not everything is useful for you ngo inda ni ibiryo so the the, the stomach is for the food nibiryo nibzinda and food for the stomach ibintu bikujyaho wowe so everything that comes to you ibintu wigurira wowe everything that you buy for yourself ntabwo bikwiriye kononu buzima bwawe should not distort your own life ntabwo amafaranga kwiriye kuba ari yagutegeka a money should not control you kuba yabaye make kuko ababizumva hari gihe bagira ngo nabafite menshi no nufite make ajo kugira make akamutegeka a people may deceive themselves and think this concerns those who have a lot of money even those who do not have a lot of money yes ara twigisha ngo amafaranga so jesus is teaching us, teaching us that money ni tool it's a tool ni gikoresho it is a tool ni byagiye kutwigisha and this is what he's going to teach us ni gikoresho muri ubu buzima it is a tool in this life ahasigaye menya aho ugomba kuyakoresha so now what remains is to know how you should manage ariko yitegeka uburyo ubaho but man should not control your life yitegeka man should not control amafaranga yeko gutegeka man should not control iryo ni hame rya mbere nakuyemo so now this is the first principle that we picked from this yes ashimwe cyane first jesus in the ijambo ry'imana now because the word of god rimbira uh, it tells me ngo twirinde that we we should take heed kwifuza kose all last twirinde kwifuza kose we should take heed of all last jingo gumuntu because the life of a person does not come from the abundance of his possessions kugira byinshi having things in abundance it does not give eternal life so the fact that you are poor today urababaye of course you are grieved urababaye you are grieved ariko nakugira inama but the advice i would give you shaka inzira z'ukuntu wabona kantu kakaza kari kokoze look for a way to find a job ndakwingenga nukagira kazi usuzuka i plead with you you should never despise mu buzima wigira kazi usuzuka in life you should not despise ikintu cyose gishobora gutuma ubona icyo utungisha abana bawe n'urugo rwawe everything that can enable you to have something to sustain your home rise and do it haguru kugikora rise and do it kandi nugikora and when you do it witware neza ho hano so conduct yourself properly in that place. ndakwinginga itware neza akazi wahawe i plead with you i uh, should manage well the job you have been given ntabwo rero amafaranga menshi so money in abundance gutunga byinshi to have things in abundance a la fin uh, in the end mwiherezo in the end mwiherezo in the end uzabisiga you are going to leave it behind nibziza it is good ukibifite as you still have that ubifite kubera iki why do you have that money or those possessions utekereje intelligentement so if you think wisely umunsi kumunsi on a daily basis kuki ufite akazi how comes you have a job kuki ugifite amaboko yo gukora how comes you still have arms to work kuki ufite ubwenge bwo gushaka ugakora how comes you have intelligence that can enable ukiri ho rero so as you still live fata neza akazi ufite you need to manage well the fata neza ibyo ukora take care of what you do fatanes take care shime bizufite and appreciate what we have amen icyakabiri so the second thing yes aratwigisha that jesus is teaching us ihame ryo guhunika uh, the principle of saving guhunika to save guhunika to save abakorinto bakabiri in uh, second uh, corinthians Ichenda chapter 9 umunane kugera kuri 11 from verse 8 to 11 muri riri 
So in this uh, teaching that we heard, uh, there is a lot of wisdom. And there are many things that God is teaching us. There are things that God is teaching us. God knows where we work. And he knows that you are supposed to live. And uh, save. And uh, increase your possessions. And also help others. So let's read. Kandi rero imani ishobora kubasaza aho ubuntu bwose kugira ngo murushe aho gukora ibyiza byose mufite ibibahagije muri byose nkuko byanditswe ngo yaranyanyagije aha bakene gukiranuka kwe guhora witeka ryose iha umubi by'imbuto n'imitsima yo kumugaburira ni yizabaha ibongerere imbuto zanyu zo kubiba kandi igwiza imbuto zo gukiranuka kwanyu Namwe muzatungishwa muri byose ngo mugire ubuntu bwose mutuma imana ihimbazwa hera Yesu amashi So let's read in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 8 to 11 and God is able to make all grace abundant towards you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work as it is written he has dispersed abroad he has given to the poor his righteousness endures forever now may he who supplies the seed to the sower and bread for food supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness while you are enriched in everything for all liber uh, uh, liberately which causes thanksgiving through us to God. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. Hashim, I can hear you. So it's been seven years. Uh, leadership of Omega Church. And the leadership of uh, Omega Church. We invited a person. A good person. So he came as a consultant. And he came to teach us how to manage money. So he came to teach us that. And he told us there are certain things that and I have And I want to share this with you. And at that time, I remember that we were thinking that it concerns us. And we invited all businessmen who were part of our. And he said that it would be better if all leaders of the church will come and. Follow. So this is what I learned from this. When he was teaching us then. So he's teaching us the principles of managing. Money. Managing your own money, whether you have a lot or you don't have a lot, but so that you can manage it wisely. So this is what I picked from this. So he taught us that, and he based himself on the Bible. He said, the money you have, you take a tithe and you bring it to the house of God. And then you take another tithe for saving. Now imagine that uh, salary that you undermine. No, no, and then you are requested that you pay the tithe and at the same time you put aside another amount of salary. Now he even added the third component. And he said there is no child of God. A child of God. And who praises God. For, for the fact that he enabled him to study or, and gave him a job. And, and then give him intelligence and also arms to work. Who thanks God. And then fail to help others. So he added a third component of helping others. So at the tithe in the house of God. The tithe for saving. And you should never eat your own things and uh, and forget a person who is hungry who is your neighbor <laughs> so please be happy <laughs> So it is difficult to ask a person to divide his money into four components. Uh, brethren, today when I look at the Bible, 
it is true. What he said it is in the Bible. We may call it list. But from long time ago. Uh, God will tell the Israelites that they should never forget um, needy and the pilgrims. So this is what also Paul is saying. Here, that God will give you sufficient things. And beyond that he'll give you other seeds. To sow. And even other seeds to disperse. And also spare what to do for good works. Give a hand clap to Jesus. So what does it mean? God knows that you are here in this life. So that on our own. We may be a channel of other people's answers. You know, by nature, we are selfish. Uh, we may say, even I, I don't have enough. And then now I'm requested even to take care of others. You may say, I, first of all. But in the sight of God, God the world is made good by people. You may not be able to change the entire world, but you are able to change everything you are. You are able to do something in your neighborhood. Therefore, Jesus, as he was teaching us about this steward, when you are working, be careful. Be careful the way you use the resources and the, what you receive and also make savings spare something for you so that you can live on your own and also be a trustworthy. Now when you are faithful in those things, it opens the door to God to do good to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Joseph is a good example of saving. Uh, there was famine for seven years in Israel. And God revealed it to Joseph who revealed it to Pharaoh as well. Joseph uh, so now Joseph told Pharaoh the, of the revelation that he received that for seven years there will be plenty but for the next for the, after seven years there will be drought so be careful when you have a job you need to prepare for the time when you, you won't be having a job so now when Joseph went to speak to the king now the king asked him how are we going to plan for this now Joseph said God is saying now for this time as we have plenty we need to stock as we still have things in abundance as we still have in abundance when you are still able to receive when you still have a salary when you still earn something it, it is the time to save save something now God is saying we need to save at this particular time so that during the seven years months, we'll have saved enough doesn't it make sense doesn't it make sense so today you are the one who is hearing this so those things that you are considering as the least uh, be grateful to God that you have them now think about the future now children of this world they are intelligent compared to those of the light. Uh, because uh, children of the world they know that it is a future now also you need to think about your future think about your future uh, you may say today I'm craving how am I going to even reach tomorrow but the word of God that you have received so it is saying you should not consume everything you should not consume everything you should not consume everything 
everything. But think also about to future. Unyumva, is there someone who is listening to me? And then in the end, we remember others. Joseph has a plan. So G uh, Joseph brought a plan. Stoke, and he requests them to say niba, because so that the time of God comes, imbere, uh, people will be in front of us won't be having something to give to them. And indeed that's what happened. After the seven years of, of abundance, Bararja, they were eating, baranwa, they were drinking, but at the same time they were stalking. And in their oh, thoughts they were serving for the bad days to come. So now the bad days uh, at the end came. And then the Bible says that the Egyptians went to Pharaoh and told, told him that he will send them to the wise person called Joseph. And Joseph was able to sustain them in Joseph those years. Time. So he went into the bar, he had. Uh, prepared and yes, give So Jesus is teaching you be careful. what you have today. Uh, take care of it. And also uh, take care of you and your family. And take what is sufficient according to your level. Thank you indeed. Eat what is sufficient. And eat what is proportional to what you have. You should not desire to have possessions like those of someone Live according to your means. Live according to your means. Based on what you earn in your home. And remember the three categories. You eat Murazigama and save Aba Christo Mutangi Chachumi. And as Christians you, you, you give them the tithe. Uh, and you do it with a cheerful heart. Uh, previously I told you that you should do it with a cheerful heart, otherwise you shouldn't do it. And also remember to do good to the one who is needed. Remember that whoever will come before you when he is in need, in the and that enabled them to give praise. To God. Do good to someone else so that he can know he can give to God. Do good to another person so that the person can give praise to God. You should not expect others to be the ones to do good. Even you, you need to do good to someone else. Maybe you don't have money. But do good to others based on what you have. Use things according to the means. But you need to base yourself on that principle of doing good to others. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then he said, I know what I'm going to do so that once my children are taken away, I don't want to lose this job at the same time without having friends. So now this is taking us to the last principle. As you save, where are you putting your savings? Uh, so there's an example that Jesus is going to give us. Uh, where you can afford to save. So first of all, you need to help others. Uh, he's not preventing you to go to the bank. And he cannot even instruct you of not saving in a bank. But please listen to Matthew what the says. So we're going to read in Matthew chapter 6. This event. Uh, 19 to 20. So I plead with you, so please be attentive. Do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. Hallelujah. Amen.
So what you are saving, even though you are saving for the future, remember very well that. Remember well that. There is a place where you may put your savings and actually they may even increase but they may not sustain you. And at the same time they may not even give you peace. Because possessions or treasures on their own they don't give joy and they don't even give happiness so remember the young rich man he said place the lord my soul and uh, rejoice because we have plenty so now Jesus told us another parable and then he was told what happened because you are going to, to lose your life who is going to consume what you have saved so now this is leading you to save where now, putting all this on, on, on you, when you are supposed to take them somewhere else to serve the kingdom of God, and this is the core of the message. So there are some works you can do here on earth to show that you are saving in heaven. There are actions that you can do here on earth, and they can speak in so the Bible says blessed are those who die in the Lord because they'll be accompanied by their actions. So there are certain things you can commit yourself to do here on earth so that you can lay your treasures in And there are also other things that will end here on earth. There are other things that you do or serve which will end here on earth. So Jesus is not uh, uh, He's just giving us an advice. So where you need to lay your treasure. You need to invest in the kingdom. Invest in the kingdom. And who is the kingdom? Our people. So invest in the kingdom. Do things which are triggered by serving God. Do things as you are motivated to say, I'm working for the I'm doing good to other people based on the fact that I'm doing good to God. Whether they are grateful or not, but let the motive be God. And this is the type of treasures that cannot be destroyed by Otherwise, money in, in itself. And even your own money that you have deposited in a bank can bring trouble. So save that money. But be watchful. And remember, you need to invest a lot in the kingdom of God. Take something to invest in the kingdom of God. And that is where you are putting your savings. And you even find this in heaven. So for some people think this is confusing here on earth. But this is the truth from God. So there are actions that speak for us. There are some actions that speak for us. Now, putting all those things and amassing them on you, and you continue to amass all that, and continue to amass that, so it may be considered as wise here on earth. But you should not continue to amass so many things when there is someone who is needy next to you. You seem to be unhappy. So don't continue to amass things when there's somebody who is naked. And this is what Jesus is teaching. You. So deny yourself and look at someone else and have something to someone else to share. So stretch your hand to someone else. Because you will have invested where moth cannot reach. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm coming to the end. He who is faithful in least will be even faithful in much. This is very clear. 
principle y'Imana So the principle of God Rugashake byinshi nabike utabishoboye You should not look for much when you are not even able to manage what is least Biteye ubwo It is scary Dukora mu maso y'Imana So we work as God Turi ho buzima imbere y'Imana So we are before God in everything Uburyo baho So the way you live Uburyo tungana mu tuntu dukeya And the way you are rushes in what is least Uburyo woba hakazi kawe gatoya The way you take care of your job maybe that Bigo you it opens a door to so many things. So it does not stop there. And it also even opens the heaven. To and now they say we can even give him things. It doesn't mean your own company. So it means that there are treasures in heaven. So there are certain things that God gives to people from heaven. And then he says, You are faithful in the least things that I gave you. Now, the this is the uh, uh, godly principle. So be faithful in the few things you've been given. Uh, so be manage well the few things you have received. Uh, manage well that job that you despise. I even said this previously. This is a secret. As we get out of here, we need to own a job we've been given. Uh, even though you clean uh, on, the, on the street you It is a good job because it sustains you It sustains you It sustains you So if you are a farmer and you are waiting for rain patiently So even that profession of yours will sustain you But you need to be faithful in Be faithful in what you do. So go out early together with your and, and take your pro. And take your pro and go and clean the, the streets. And do it cheerfully. And say this is what God has given And if I manage it well who knows tomorrow I even have, get something better. So these are the principles of God. So beloved friends of God let us be good stewards and let us save and be long sighted and be grateful for what we have stretch our hands for others uh, so that moth cannot uh, destroy our because there is a place where you can invest which is safe so now think about that uh, cloth will be worn out our uh, food will be consumed we come no, to no, an no, God is not saying you shouldn't eat you, should eat you need to put on clothes uh, buy a car if you are able have a house if it's possible but as we invest think where God desires you to invest where should you invest where is safety to invest do you need to invest in, in a bank in Switzerland? Uh, many people think that uh, it is safe to invest in Switzerland. Uh, but uh, there is a bank that can never go bankrupt. And which does not cheat to, uh, to take our shares. When you partner with God, you receive well your shares. And you receive the, your dividends on time. You receive them on time. And you cannot be cheated. And it is possible for us. So let's uh, please stand up so that we can pray to God. Let's pray to God. Uh, the first thing we talked about uh, Jesus appreciated the, the steward who did he appreciate uh, because this person is working thinking about the future also think about the future so live today's life thinking about the future 
there are many things which will change if you think about your future. It's not even in terms of money only. Even the way you relate with others. Or the way you behave. I think about the future. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. The second thing. Zigam. Uh, make savings. Uh, you need to be intentional it's about making savings. What you have, invest it in the kingdom of God. Think about the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God are people. And the kingdom of God is what you do for the cause of Christians. Everything you do for the sake of God. Uh, so that God is, is lifted up. Up. And God will be able to reveal to you what it is. So the last thing. Um, thank God, be grateful to God for what you have. So let's pray to God. Uratwigisha Uyu munsi ubitambutse mo nanone. Uyu munsi winjiye mu kazi dukora. Winjiye mu byo twunguka. Winjiye mu byo duhembwa. Uratubwiye ngo uzi kwa abana bisi babarusha ubwenge. Uyu munsi akazi mufite ibyinjira. Ibyo muhabwa ni mutekereze. Ese ni hehe mwabishyira mwiteganiriza. Mana ndasenga ngo dushoboze. Dutekereze kwiteganiriza. Dutekereze tubikunze twiteganiriza mbere yo gushora ibyo duha mbere yo gushora ibyo duha tujye tubanza dutekereze turagabana nande turashora he mwami jambo rya rya tugezeho riratubwira ngo ibintu twinjiza biri gutatu uraduha twebwe ubwacu biduhagije warangiza ugatuma duha abandi ukadusazaho ubuntu tugaha abandi tugakora imirimo myiza igatuma baguhimbaza mana kandi warangiza ukagaruka ukaduha imbuto nanone zo kongera tugatera ntabwo uri imana yirengagiza uwasohoye imbuto ntabwo wibagirwa usohora imbuto ntabwo wibagirwa ugabana nawe gira ubwira mwami uduhereho natwe hane imbere guhera uyu munsi tumenye ngo ubutunze ubutunze ntabwo bushobora kuduha mahoro ntabwo bwaduha ibisubizo tugutegerejeho aho ngo ubutunze ibyo dufite ni ibikoresho byo kugira ngo twinvestise mu bwame bwawe shoboze ukubwira ngo nshoboze shoboze uwo ngo usaba kazi imana nongere ngo usabe ngo gira uha kazi ukuririra mwami gira uwo wereka kazi kari iburyo bwe akaba yarakirengagije gira uwo wereka kazi kari bumoso bwe akaba yarakirengagije gira uwo ubwira ngo haguruka ndaguha umugisha mu byuri ukora Homogisha mwami biganza byacu homogisha imitima yacu twemere kuba ibisonga bitaya udukize kwaya udukize kwaya mu byo twahawe udukize kwaya mu byo twahawe tubabizerwa mu byo twabikijwe tubabizerwa mu byo badatabuja bisi baduhaye kugira ngo we mwijo nuna bireba uzaduha ibyo twigengaho twebwe bwacu Ushimu habgi chuairo, yuko hiri kama ubugugu bgos, kui kunda kos, mami inja ni yos, ubujiji bgos, onondo Jesus, ubi hiri kama ngam, utujiri denes, uduego tambo kana nao, kumva mahame yao, kumvu kuvuga, kumvu kwa wijish, kujenga ndo tungu na bisho, tu be responsable yibzo tubgi, kadi dusoke tu bishira mavi koro, ni mwezi na jais tu bi subject kuzi. Amen. Imani wa mudisha. May God bless you. Mukawe randa kunyotewe Wibu ganze murije Unyigishe umindure Unyigishe umindure